goes on behind closed doors, the inevitable result of not enough commercial space. A booth is a very precious commodity at an NTA convention. For those not fortunate or foresightful enough to book a booth at least a year in advance, the one alternative if they want to tattoo at the convention is working out of their rooms. Such was the lot of this year's convention superstar, Bernie Luther. And also one of his cohorts, the young award-winning guy Aitchison from Chicago. The piece I'm doing now is not uh, not really a, a detailed illustrative piece so much as it is a, a motion piece. Just pew, pew, pew. And we wanted to follow the arm the best we could. It's sort of a bloody mess right now but, um, to get the general idea. Both of these young tattooers are doing exceptional work, as accomplished as many tattoo masters with decades more experience. Work that is marked by an artistic vision as contemporary as today's headlines and as bizarre as last week's Twin Peaks episode. To many, the chance to watch great young talent at work is the next best thing to wearing some of it. A steady stream of fans, friends, and the fortunate stop by to check out the action this Saturday night. Even wizened veterans of conventions are attracted, in part by the energy of the moment and in part for the chance to see into the future. For those who have the eyes to see, what's on display is the look of tattooing to come in the 90s. As revealed by these new kids on the block, whom Aitchison refers to as the Brat Pack, to describe the loosely associated group of young tattoo Turks who are the movers and shakers of his generation. Though still too disparate to be categorized with a label, the new style of today will surely be as recognizable and defined by the end of the 90s as the tribal became in the 80s or the Japanese style was in the 70s. Marked by bold outlines and strong colors, weird images and strange juxtapositions, call it what you will, the new style is gonzo. Also new and revealing and gonzo to some is tattooing as performance art. For the young, media-hip kids tattooing today, a camera stuck in their face is as welcome as another customer. A crowd surrounding them heightens the performance and improves the skin and ink show. The more people who watch, the more tattooing becomes theater. For some, the old motto becomes, you pick them, I stick them. You know, this is my favorite place to get tattooed right here. Mm -hmm. There's a friend of mine, Eddie Deutsch, he once got a tattoo on the, the pit of his elbow here, but it was, you know, it wasn't such a minimalistic thing. It was an orchid that the uh, artist spent seven and a half hours on, mm. jam-packed with color. So in order to heal it, he took a rolled up newspaper and taped it down the back of his arm and simply didn't bend his elbow for a week. He healed up beautifully, but he, uh, he didn't enjoy the, the healing process that much. That, uh, in my opinion, took a hell of a lot of self-discipline. Mm. Okay, we're going to call it. Let me spritz you down. Mm -hmm. You're glad? 1967 executioner and a stack of skulls. With a big, Much better. Big, yeah, place. but you know she's still there. No, there's her shoes. He left her shoes, <laughs> and there's her legs, her ass. There's her tits, and he turned her head into the Capitol Dome. <laughs> I was thrilled by it. See it? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, yeah, I liked it even better after think? I saw that. Go, go look in the mirror. All together. Vines all around there. Yeah. I like it especially from the front. Yeah. Like when you know, just nice hang around like that, I, I like the way that, yeah. that, that worked out. It's because it, there's nothing in between. You know, I know it's, it's nice, but this is better. By the time day four, Sunday arrives in the middle of Saturday night's festivities, the convention is on automatic pilot. As are some of the tattooists who are doing reissues of their standard designs done a hundred times before. But that's exactly why collectors queue up to their booths the reason why more go to the best known is because their work speaks for itself. And that's what the public wants. So there's one thing you gotta get used to after you get a piece done by him. You get stopped everywhere you go and you get everyone just like, who did that piece? He's not gonna do much stuff. Really? Damn.